Hey, Mitzi. Hey, Mitt, are you hungry? I know you want to eat your chicken, huh, baby? I know you're a hungry girl. I know you're a hungry girl, huh, baby? Alright, guys. Um, I want to make a real quick video to explain something to you because I'm probably missing something. But, anyways, uh, this is this is the back of the uh, uh, FT, the fuel tag. Um, check this out. I'm going to show you these screws. Okay, I'm going to take one out. Okay, I'm going to flip it over because I'm working with one hand here. You put it on something that you can see. Okay. You got this little fitting right here. I don't know if I can focus in on it. There it is. It's like plastic. Okay. Then you got the screw. That goes in the back of your FT-50. Okay, that's cool. Alright, that's cool. You put that... Let me get over here. You put that on there. And then you take it and you screw it into the back of here. Like so. Let me screw it in there. Okay. So you got your four screws. You get your four screws, your little washers on them. Okay, now I'm gonna set it in the bracket right there that I made. I made a dash, I made a cool dash. And um, the, the couple reasons why I made out of Lexan is it's indestructible. Um, it's quarter inch, it's not gonna flex, it's not gonna vibrate around your car or nothing like that. I probably shouldn't be showing that movie, so I gotta turn it. So, um, and they, and uh, for these little, uh, bolts right here let me see if I can hold them see if this makes it better yeah for these little bolts right here they give you a nut but what I did is I went ahead and I threaded it right into the Lexan and they they crank down tight they're not gonna come out they're not gonna loosen they are in there um, like permanently so anyways let me see if I can fit um, I'm not getting to the point yet that I want to show you let's see if I can set my camera down give me a second Okay, well, I, I can't do it, but, well, maybe I can. Yeah, I'll set that down. Anyways, you shake down, you shake down those little screws, and they drop in. They drop in until, until they lock, until they actually slide and lock in. Hold on. Here, I gotta hold this up for a minute. I'm gonna talk to you. Just, I'm trying to get them to lock in. Give me a second here. I'll get them to lock in. Maybe I got them too tight. Hold on. Just, just hang in there. Yeah, I got... Yeah, I got I got this one too tight. Let me loosen a little bit. I got to loosen... Oh, okay. I got them all tight. That's why. Okay, let me loosen this. I know the camera isn't too good. I'm not doing too good of a job with it. But just, just hang in there. Okay, I got that one loose. So it'll drop in. I got that one loose enough. I got to loosen this one over here. So it'll drop in there okay now I'm gonna take it I'm gonna drop it into the little slots where they go hang in there I know it's kind of blurry give me a second okay there it just dropped in just dropped in okay now I'm gonna pick my camera back up I'm gonna try to get a photo of this all right once they drop in you see the screw back there you um, you can't get a wrench on it. You can't. You can't tighten it. I mean, there's just. It's physically. It's uh. Um, what was that word I'm looking for? Yeah, it, it goes against physics. You can't get a wrench in there to tighten those bolts. You just. You can't. It won't fit. It won't. It won't fit. You can't get in there with a wrench. You can't. You can't tighten them. So what I'm going to do is you see the holes that I made in the bag. You can see the hole in the center I made for the uh, for the pressure line, you know, for the uh, for the map sensor, and the hole that I made for the uh, plug-in. And those holes that I made there that you see, I'm going to switch those five-sided hex hex hexagon, I guess they are bolts for uh, stainless Allen screws. Then you can go right through the holes in the bag and snug them up. That's it. Yeah, there's for the map sensor, there's for your plug, there's for your nano, and a little Allen's, Allen bolt will replace the the hex screw, and uh, this this thing just turned out just turned out neat, super neat. This bolts right on to my uh, there's actually three holes on my on my steering uh, steering shaft that um, there's one right there. There's, you can see the two down below that I have hit with a prick punch so I can drill them. 
And uh, Nano will go. I gotta get in the dark spot so you can see it. There, Nano will go right there. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's how you do it. Coolest old ash. And uh, I had it bolted up once or kind of just held it in my hand. Uh, it's not gonna flex. So, if you're wondering how to tighten those screws, you can't get a wrench on them. You can't get one in there. Uh, switch them to Allen's. Make your holes in the back and put your Allen wrench right through the holes and you can snug them right up. And once again, there's for your map sensor and there's for your plug. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you. That's the dash I made. And uh, that's pretty much all you need in the car. You know, is uh, the FD displays everything. And uh, I got the rest of the sensor in, uh, sensors in today. Um, I mean, the rest of the 150 uh, PSI sensors and the water temp sensor and the air temperature sensor I got all those in the mail today they all came um, I also got the um, it's on my IG I think my IG is under Hiscott Jim H-I-S-C-O-T-T J-I-M I think it's Hiscott Jim or Jim Hiscott it's one or the other anyway you'll see you'll see these parts uh, if you got the right one which I think is Hiscott Jim H-I-S-C-O-T-T J-I-M and uh, you'll see all the pictures and the new stuff that I got today which I'm not going to drag that out and put you through that there's no sense in it we know what these aftermarket parts look, look like but anyways yeah that's uh, that's that's going to be the dash that's it alright guys okay um, any questions comment ask questions you want to know how to build, how I built it or how I cut this um, I actually made the I actually made the saw blade that I that I cut this quarter inch Lexan with it, it came out super smooth. I mean, I didn't have to file it, sand it, or nothing. Which, of course, you know you can't sand you can't sand Lexan Lexan worth a damn because it's so rubbery. But um, it came out just super smooth. And uh, later on, when I do my windows, my Lexan windows, I'll um, I'll show you the blade and how I cut them, so it'll make it easier on you guys when you go to do it for yourself. Um, as far as the uh, the cancer thing goes, once again, um, I do have two two brain tumors, a uh, granuloma in my granuloma in my liver, and a big black spot in my lung. So um, we are going to do a fundraiser because I have maybe nine months left. From what I, from what I'm told, they estimate I got a 13 percent chance of making it nine more months. I got to raise five grand to finish this car, or the whole investment of 28000 just goes away. And when I pass on, it's it's pretty much just all junk. What's my wife going to do with it? Nothing. I mean, she can't. She doesn't know how. So, um, I'm working as fast as I can now. I've doubled up my efforts to get things done. Uh, got this done. Got to mount the Nano. I need a bit longer screws for the Nano. That will go right there in that spot nano fits in there i made a big hole with the plug and uh this is lexan it's not it's not plexiglass which means you can drill as close to the edge as much as you want and it's not going to crack or shatter or split this is quarter inch this is indestructible um you can't shoot through it so you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it so anyways that's how we're doing it all right, guys, I'll, I'll check you out later, and uh, I'll drop another video as soon as possible. Thanks for stopping by. Um, it's real important now since I want to do a fundraiser. I'm, I, I have to. I don't want to. I mean, you know, if I had 20 years left of life, I, would, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother. Um, every dollar I've invested into this car, into the entire car that you see in my videos, uh, is out of pocket, earned, 100% paid by me. But I'm out of time, guys. I'm out of time. I'm not going to make it. I'm out of time. I'm... Oof, I can't say that word. I'm out of time. I got to do a fundraiser. I have to. I don't have a choice. Um, it's sad. I want the car done more than anything. If I got the car finished and died the next day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give a shit. I honestly wouldn't. I want the car. I, I need the car. I need the car done. It is the only thing of value I'm leaving my wife. And uh, she wants to see it done. This is a 36-year dream. It's 36-year dream, and uh, during the fundraiser, that's all going to be explained on why it's a 36-year dream. Um, you'll hear everything. You'll know everything. Uh, it's an it's an interesting story. So please forward this video. 
um, to someone and when you get that forward video forward again try to make this video go viral it's, it's very important please do so please help me out okay all right i appreciate it i'll talk to you all later thanks a lot